Hello, all you big, beautiful brains out there. Today, we're going to talk about sensation and perception. Before we get started, take a minute to subscribe to Psy vs. Psy. Help out your friendly neighborhood psychologist while I tell you all about how our senses turn in to perception. If you're not just here lurking, you'll know that we've talked about sensation and perception before in our channel video about Wilhelm Wundt. Also known as the father of psychology, Wundt was really the first one to start looking at how our perception was different than sensation in a scientific manner. So what are sensation and perception? Let's start with sensation. From a neuroanatomical perspective, sensation is when we use specialized neuronal receptors to receive external stimuli. <laughs> In other words, it's when we use our senses. You have these special receptors all over you. You just call them by different names like eyes or skin or ears. You have special kinds of receptors in your sensory organs on your body that are attuned to certain kinds of information. For instance, when light hits your eyes, you have special cells called photoreceptors that can turn that light into an electric signal that our brain can understand. When you get information from the outside world, when you sense things, that is sensation. Literally everything that's happening around you that you can see. So if sensation is everything, <laughs> then what's perception? Perception is the way that we filter out and process that raw sensory information. Our brains are constantly getting information from the world around us, but we only attend to or perceive things that are important for us. Just like our perception changes what we pay attention to, it can also change our perception. For instance, when I eat a gummy bear, I sense lots of things about it. It's sweet and squishy and wonderful and sugary. All that stuff, it's all sensation. What I perceive from that gummy bear is so much more. For instance, my feelings about gummy bears and how amazing they are. <laughs> a lot of the time, we use what we already know about objects and experiences when we are interpreting how to perceive them. Sensation and perception are different. Think about it this way. Say you need to find out something, anything. You can go to Google and just look up the answer. All that information that's on the internet everything that is Googleable, that's sensation. Sensation is raw, unfiltered data. Perception is what you get once you run the search. The filtered data that you can pay attention to, the things you want to pay attention to, the things that your brain needs to know. All that other stuff, the sensation, is still out there. It's just that your brain didn't need it right now. If you want to know more about sensation and perception, including answering the question, do we have more than five senses? Make sure you subscribe to this channel so you can get all of our other videos and you can learn all about the science of psychology. Until next time, keep thinking, and I'll see y'all later. Bye!